Dear students, and welcome to week one overview from September 3rd all the way to September 7th. And this is introduction to chemistry. We are going to start our week with an icebreaker. Technically, that means that you're going to meet your teacher. We are going and agree on classroom behavior, what is okay and what is not okay. We are going to talk about the importance of science and careers in science. Today, we are going to start another icebreaker that technically explains the purpose of STEM projects. We are going to start our actual teaching process. So we are going to start with classifying matter and elements and compounds. So during this lesson, you will be able to classify pure substances as elements or compounds, describe the characteristics of compounds and elements with the symbols used to identify elements. So technically, what I'm trying to say that when it comes to classifying substances, we can categorize them into elements and compounds. Elements are pure substances made up of only one type of atom, such as oxygen or gold. They cannot be broken down into simpler substances. On the other hand, compounds are made up of two or more different elements chemically combined together. They have unique properties different from their cons con constituent element and understanding these classifications help us to study and manipulate substances in various fields like chemistry and material science. The second part of the lesson, which is going to be also we're going to stay in classifying matter, but today we're going to talk about mixtures, homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. So first of all, we are going, you will be able to distinguish pure substances from mixtures so let's start by distinguishing substances and mixtures. Substances are pure and uniform in composition, meaning they are made up of only one type of particle, either an element or a compound. They have a constant properties throughout and cannot be separated by physical means. On the other hand, mixtures are combinations of two or more substances that are not chemically bonded. They can have varying compositions and properties and can be separated through physical methods like filtration or distillation. Understanding the difference between them will help us identify and study the different types of matter around us. So if I want to classify mixtures as heterogeneous or homogeneous, I have to understand the concept of each one. So heterogeneous and homogeneous mixtures are two types of mixtures, technically meaning that a heterogeneous mixture have visibly different components and are not uniform throughout. For example, a salad with different vegetables or a bowl of cereal with milk would be considered heterogeneous mixture. On the other hand, homogeneous or homogeneous mixture have uniform composition and appear the same throughout. For example, salt water, air, or sugar that dissolves in water are examples of homogeneous mixtures. Understanding the difference between these mixtures will help us classify and analyze the various types of mixtures we encounter in our daily lives. Lastly, the last part of this classifying matter, which is solutions, suspensions, and colloids. So mixtures are a combination of two or more substances that are not chemically bonded. Suspension and colloids are two types of mixtures with distinct characteristics. Suspensions are heterogeneous mixtures where solid particles are disappeared in liquid or gas, but eventually settle down due to gravity. Examples include muddy water or orange juice with pulp. Colloids, on the other hand, are homogeneous mixtures where tiny particles are disappeared in a medium, creating a stable and uniform appearance. Examples for that, including milk, mayonnaise, or fog. So technically what I'm trying to say that 
by understanding the different types of mixtures will help us appreciate the diverse of nature of matter and its interaction. So during this week, we are going to have research activities, we are going to have interactivities and also hands-on activities. Thank you.